What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Temba and that right there is my home desk that I've been using for the past year. I've been working from home now for the past 12 months now and uh, pretty much since the lockdown began um, I've been meaning to upgrade it and I finally pulled the trigger. So in this video I'm going to show you how I transformed the whole setup. So first things first we are going to remove all the peripherals, the monitor, and disassemble the desk. Once everything was out, I noticed that the socket cover is gone, and I need to get a new one. So, I bought this charcoal grey double socket as a replacement. Now, remember to shut everything off on the power when doing or when working with electrical wiring. Remember to test the socket before screwing the cover on. Yeah, that looks a lot better. On the wall, I want to install a lip shelf for my economy. It's made from powder coated steel with a width of just over one meter. And it's designed to accommodate a variety of, you know, different items. Now, before you drill holes in the wall, you know, make sure you measure and align the shelf using a leveler. This was very challenging for me because the brick wall is very solid and my drill is not very powerful. To top it off, the fissure plugs that came with the shelf are very long, so try to be patient and careful when carrying out this task. Now the next task was to install the pegboard. I picked it up from Take a Lot and it comes in at um, about 40 by 40 centimeters, and it includes a couple of hooks, dark grey in color. I'll be using this pegboard for, well, as an auxiliary storage to hang things that I need to get to regularly. Um, once again, before you drill holes, just make sure it's straight using a leveler. Um, here's a pro tip. Measure the fissure plugs and mark the drill bit. That way you don't drill further than is required. Now that the drill work is done, the pegboard and the shelf are mounted, we can now clean the floor before moving on to the next task. On the floor, I rolled a dark grey microfiber rug from Leroy Merlin that's big enough to cover the entire area. Now the rug is very soft and very comfortable, you can pretty much sleep on it. I picked up this Leroy Merlin super wide melamine tabletop with dimensions 1.8 meters by um, about 600 millimeters. It is heavy duty and, and very durable. Um, I read that it is a decent alternative to the more expensive type of solid wood. I mean, I think it looks great and will provide a good platform for me for doing overhead unboxing videos. Now the tabletop will be attached to the Equip Ego Electric Set Stand Dual Motor Desk Frame, which I purchased from PC Link Computers. It is a great height adjustable desk frame which allows me to alternate between sitting and standing while I'm working. On average, I spend about 12 hours a day in front of the computer. So I think it is important to try and stand as often as I can to try and reduce back pain. Mm -hmm. 
The manual that comes with the frame is straightforward and easy to follow, but then again, I'm an engineer and my judgment might not be applicable to everyone. Once the frame is assembled, I can then fasten the frame to the disc. Now make sure that everything is straight before you proceed. Now the nice thing about the melamine top is that you can just fasten your soft tapping screws on your table without drilling pilot holes. The soft tapping screws are included in the disc frame, so there's no need to worry about getting a new set. If you are a true DIYer, you will have a drill driver. But if you don't, you can rent one out from your local hardware store. They, they're very easy to come by. By the way, you can attach any tabletop with a minimum width of 1.1 meters and a maximum width of 2.2 meters. My tabletop, as I've already said, is about 1.8 meters, so it fits perfectly. The frame comes with a cable management tray to help keep all your cables neatly hidden away. I forgot to include this before attaching the desk. Thank goodness for drill drivers. I can quickly remove the screws, attach the cable management tray, and then screw the frame back on in no time. Now to continue with this theme of neatly hiding cables, I will be mounting this multi-plug underneath the desk. However, with all the devices I'm going to plug in, I will also add my old Surge multi-plug. I will use the Velcro stickers, which you can get from Take A Lot, or anywhere really, to stick the multi-plugs to the desk. Now remember to test the desk before you flip it over. It is quite heavy with everything attached to it, so get someone to help you with that task. If you have made it this far, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment that says, cool desk, just so I know you're still there. So I actually wanted a Herman Miller Aaron chair, which is one of the most economic chairs you can get, but it was way too expensive. So I ended up getting this gray operator chair, which I picked up from Nextpy. It is very comfortable with a full mesh, um, comes with a swivel and a tilt mechanism. Definitely a step up to my old bed up chair that I've been using since university. This is the Dell Ultra Sharp U3421 WE34 inch curved USB C hub computer monitor. Yeah, <laughs> that's a mouthful. I needed a wide monitor so that I could fit more of my documents and media to improve my productivity, especially when it comes to, you know, doing side by side tasks where you need multiple documents open at the same time. I will not be using the stand that comes with the monitor, but will be using this Kensington SmartFit Ergo single monitor arm to mount the monitor. Now monitor arms are great for saving space and give you the ability to adjust the monitor angle to your liking. Everything you need is included in the box, including the Allen key and the visa mount that goes on the back of the monitor.
The monitor is quite heavy at about 9 kilograms, so be very careful when lifting it. Once the monitor is mounted, I can then adjust the angle accordingly. The monitor comes with the built-in USB-C hub, which means I can plug all my peripherals directly to the monitor and just have one cable running to my laptop. If you are interested in this monitor, let me know in the comment section. Perhaps I'll do a full review on, on the specifications. For this next part, I needed to make sure that the desk was clean so that the LED light strips could stick on the surface of the desk nicely without any issues. The lights that I'm using are from a company called Govi. They come with the remote, can be connected to the Wi-Fi to integrate to your smart home. I think it also comes with an app. Yeah, I think so. I have two computers, one personal and one for work, so I'm using this double vertical stand to store the laptops. I will keep my PS4 next to the laptops as well. That right there is an anchor wireless fast charger for charging my phone. And for the peripherals, I'll be using the most favorite mouse and keyboard in YouTube, the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and the Logitech MX Keys keyboard that come highly, highly recommended. Now, I can connect my laptops to the monitor. The USB-C cable that comes with the monitor is quite short, so I bought an extension cable so that it reaches my laptops on the far end of the desk. I tried to hide all the cables as much as I could under the desk using the cable management tray, but I must admit that cable management is not one of my strong points. And voila, this is my desk setup. I know this was a very long video, so thank you so much for making it to the end. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel.